Hello viewers, this Dao Too Fast here. Now, a couple of months ago, I installed this real link 8 channel NVR security camera system. And this system comes with four cameras. That's why you can see the four camera views on the monitor. Since this NVR or network video recorder has eight channels, I can actually install additional cameras onto it. And in today's video, I will install two more cameras and I'll show you how easy it is to add additional cameras to the system. So let's get started. Let me show you the camera that I'll be installing today. This is the Reolink RLC 420 5 megapixel camera. Now this is a two pack. So inside this box, there are two cameras. Template. Installation guide. Security sticker. Quick start guide, Ethernet cable, screwdriver, here's a camera, waterproof cover for the Ethernet connector, mounting hardware. So let's have a closer look at these two RLC 420 5 megapixel camera. Now being 5 megapixel, the resolution is 2560 by 1920. That's 4.5 times more resolution than a regular 1080p Full HD camera. These cameras are PoE cameras, so they will work with PoE and VR systems. The camera is waterproof, so you can install it indoor or outdoor. The entire enclosure is all metal, including the base. In the middle is a camera. Around the side are 36 infrared LEDs for nighttime viewing. In pure darkness, it can illuminate up to 100 feet. On the bottom of the camera, you have the single cable that comes out. At the end, you have this power connector, recess switch, and the ethernet connector. Now, if you're gonna be connecting this using a PoE or power over ethernet system, you will not need to connect the power supply to this connector. So you only need one connection. Now, looking at the back of the camera, there is a micro SD memory card slot here. This camera will operate as a standalone camera. So if you install a memory card in here, the camera can detect motion and record that video clip. Let me show you how to adjust the angle of the camera and also remove this ring here so you can install the base onto the wall. What you need to do is loosen this Phillips screw right here and then pull this tab forward and this ring will come out. Here's the camera. As you can see, there are four holes here on the base so you can install this onto the wall after you install the base, then put the camera back on the base, place this ring over it. Now you can also adjust the angle, snap this in place, tighten this screw, and that's it. So let's go install these two new cameras for my NVR system. I use this template to mark the holes. Now this template is also a sticker, so you can stick it onto the wall. And then for this brick, I use a masonry bit to drill the holes. I've mounted the base. Now I'll put this cover piece back on. Here's a look at the camera installed. I cut a small hole on the vent underneath the eave. And this ethernet cable runs into the attic. The other end of this cable goes down to the camera. I connected the ethernet cable to the camera. I also installed this waterproof cover that you see right here. This slips on and then push this rubber grommet into the back. Then put this bottom cover on. So here I'm in the attic at the corner of my house and I fished the wire that you see right here. And I'll pull this wire all the way through. I'll be installing the second camera at the back of my house, right in the middle right here. And here's the ethernet cable from the back of the house. And here's the camera installed. I'll pan the camera around and show you the view from the top here. Here are the two ethernet cables from the camera that I ran in the attic. It's being dropped into the room where I have the NVR. 
The gray cable is the one for the front camera. The blue cable is for the back camera. Now before I connect the two new cameras to this NVR box, I'm going to go ahead and shut down the system. Go to home. Go to shutdown. Select shutdown. Okay. Now the system tells you the system can be powered off. Go ahead and disconnect the power on the back. Turn the box around. And you'll see there are four additional open ports. I'll connect the front camera to channel 5. And the back camera to channel 6. Go ahead and power on the system. Looking at the live view on my phone, I adjusted the camera view. Once it's set, go ahead and tighten that Phillips screw. And this is the live view of the back camera. Here's another look at the installed camera. At the very top is a camera that I installed last year. And here's a new one that I installed. And this camera faces the front door. And here's a look at the camera installed at the back. Now you see all six cameras. Here are the two new cameras I added. So that's showing the front and that's the back. I can double click on one of the camera. And you get the full view. Now this is nighttime, so it's black and white, but you can see the details very good. Here's my front door right here. Let's take a look at the back camera. Now the back there are no light, it's pitch dark. And here you see the infrared LEDs on the camera is able to illuminate this entire space. And this is my back patio. You can also set up a custom name for these cameras. I'll reset this one. It's called Front Door. Let's go ahead and set this name. Channel setting. Here's the camera name. I'll just call this back. Enter. Apply. Now this camera shows back. Here's a look at the camera during the day. This is the front camera. As you can see, it's very clear. If there's a package left at the front door, I'll be able to see it. Let's have a look at the back camera. Again, the video is very clear. Up top are the four original cameras that I installed. Now with this real link system, once you have the cameras connected, and the unit's powered on, it will start recording. So all six cameras are being recorded right now. And with the Real Link app, you can access a live view of all the cameras. So here you're looking at the nighttime view. If you want to learn more about how to install this real link NVR system and also how to use it, I recommend you watch the install video I did several months back and I will put that link at the bottom of the video. Now if you want to get this real link NVR system or if you already have one and you want to add additional cameras, I'll also include those links below. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave one below. Remember to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.